from the feds about the month of June shows that average hourly earnings have increased by 5.1 percent. Will those salaries keep heading up? That is just one question we are putting to Senior Regional Vice President for Robert Half, Kimberly Steiner Murphy. Robert Half being a firm focused on all things employment. Kimberly, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm just fine. Thank you. Thank you for being here. U.S. payrolls increased by 327,000 in June, so hiring remains strong. So with June a boost for average hourly salaries, what are the chances for salaries for all those hardworking people to just keep going up? Well, it's interesting. I think you're seeing different areas have different salary expectations. And you look at a market specifically like Sacramento, that is now having to compete with Bay Area wages with the remote and the work from home. I think specifically in our area, we're con going to continue to see salaries move up. All righty. Well, that's good news for a lot of people. From Robert Half's Job Optimism Report, 87% of Sacramento workers feel confident about their skill set and their marketability. For everybody who wants to work and maybe chase better pay, what are the jobs and industries most in demand right now? Well, we're seeing a lot of demand in very specific skill sets. So college degreed workers, um, technology, accounting and finance as companies are trying to navigate through this, this you know, tumultuous time. So we're seeing a lot of things where if you have a very specific skill set, you're in demand for sure. With our inflation woes not over, even though prices for things like gas are coming down, there's a lot of concern still out there about the economy falling into recession. What about recession-proofing your job or finding a recession-proof job? And what is that really? What does it mean? You know, I think that, you know, as we go through, you know, whatever you want to call this right now, an industrial revolution, the way you go to the grocery store is changing, the way you shop online, all of those things, I think as the world evolves, you have to evolve with your own skill set as well. So are you keeping up to date with a, a certain software program or technology or what's happening in your industry? I think the more that you learn, the more invaluable that you become, especially as the world's changing right now. So we have to keep our skills up to recession proof. That's the thing, retraining already. Now, research from your company shows that 54% of Sacramento workers plan to look for a new job in the second half of 2022. That's well above the national average of 41%. So we're talking about more than half of the workforce here looking to kind of move around. Is that going to be destabilizing for California's economy? Is that going to be a nightmare for employers who will have to do a lot of retraining for positions that have had veterans in them? Yeah, you know what I think is interesting about that is, you know, a lot of people call it the great resignation. We like to call it the great reshuffle because what you're going to see is you're going to see companies that, you know, maybe didn't offer a salary increase and another company was able to compete. And then you're going to see other companies that didn't offer room for growth or the opportunity to work remote. And so you'll see workers leave for that. And if I was an employer and wanted to keep my veterans or my legacy workers, I would think about all of those things because what will happen is they'll end up leaving and then you'll have to replace and you may have to pay a higher salary or have a flexible schedule or all of those things because you didn't think about that ahead of time. All righty. You always leave us with a lot to think about employees out there. You got to retrain, keep your skills up in employers. You got to be innovative and keep up with what the uh, employer next door is doing so you can keep those legacy workers. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.